We wanted to make a real character, someone that, that you could look into when you felt this isn't a costume, that this is a real person. A big part of the game is, is what we call malevolence. It's her biggest fears and nightmares kind of manifested in, in a visual language and not just have it as a cool effect, but to tell a story with these elements. Drift is the story of an astronaut who wakes up floating in space, no idea how she got there, and a badly damaged spacesuit leaking oxygen. It becomes a game about navigating the environment. We've given you all this freedom, you can go anywhere, but getting there becomes a matter of manipulating the physics of yourself as a character. The number one goal of Giant Sparrow is to bring something that people haven't seen before. Something interesting that they can play with, something that moves or jumps, something that you wouldn't pick up in the average game. It's not really like a lot of other games where you have lives or guns or bullets. We try to focus on this kind of sense of connection with the environment and the creatures that you find. It's going to have very different environments than what you'd normally find in a traditional game above water, and that's going to take a special touch. There's a difference between rendering things underwater and rendering them on land. Dreadnought, it's you know giant battleships battling it out broadsides. It's a dream come true, you know, if you're into hard sci-fi worlds. It's basically the game that we always wanted to make when watching Battlestar or Firefly. And that is obviously a lot of fun. People will look at our game and they're like, that's really crazy. How did you get it to look like that? And we're like, oh whoa, we're using Unreal 4. And they're like, Unreal 4? How can you use that? You know, and it's like it's just, you're just three people, you can't use that. Yes, we can. Clearly, like we are. E-Valkyrie is definitely the VR project we've taken the furthest. It's a passion project of a few guys here that continues to amaze everyone that try it out. But still, uh, despite that, we once in a while go and touch our roots and have a piece of charred sheep's head for lunch. <laughs>